Hi Dresser Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. So let's get started. To draw this magical drawing, let's first start by drawing our pot. So I'm going to come right here and draw a soft curve for the top of our pot. So right across, about that wide. And then I'm going to come right here and round it off on both sides. And draw the same curve right underneath. And there. So I have the lip of our pot. From there, I'm going to come about right here, come in a little bit, and we're going to draw the sides of our pot. So about right here. And I'm going to bring this down. Nice and round and in. And about right there, I'll come down and connect. And there, so our bottom is a little bit flatter. And then since we're down here, I'm going to come right here on this corner right here and just draw a curve for legs for our pot. So same thing right here. There. Okay, so then from there, let's um, let's come about right here and I'm going to add a, um, a clover shamrock. So just to spruce it up, I'll come right here in this corner and I'll draw a little stem and then our shamrock. So it's basically three hearts connect it. So another one and one more right in here. Then from there, let's draw a pile of gold. So I'm going to come right here and basically just draw a bunch of curves and it's just going to be the highest point right in the center. That's our goal. So sometimes a little bit bigger, smaller, and then right in the center, nice and high. Then we're going to start to bring it down. Come down a little bit in more so that makes sense it's coming in here okay so then I'm going to come inside and just draw some indication just to give it some texture here and there okay so then from there let's um, come to the center right here and I'm going to make our pot here kind of like a leprechaun's hat just to spruce it up and so let's come right in the center. So say about right here. Go ahead and draw the leprechaun's belt, the buckle, about right there. Thicken it up. And then uh, let's go ahead and follow our curve at the top. And bring it right in. There. Okay, so then now we can finally bring it to life. So in this area right here, I'm going to go ahead and draw a big circle for some draw so cute eyes. And same thing right across about right here. And let's spruce them up right here with two small circles for highlights. And a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. Okay, so now we have the eyes in. Let's come above each eye and we're just going to draw a soft curve. And then a smile right in the center. So about right here, draw a curve that goes slightly upwards, cap it off, and then a little U.S. slant and a tongue right here. So now that our pot of gold is done, let's go ahead and draw our cloud. So we want to imagine a rainbow. So kind of like an art coming out from here and just depending on how high you want it, about right here was going to be where I'm going to put my cloud. So I'll go ahead and say about right here, I'll just start. 
and draw a cloud. So nice big curve for the center. And I'm just going to make it a pretty even cloud. So two curves and then a round one right here. So just depending on where you put your cloud, that's going to determine your arc for your rainbow. So it doesn't really matter. But you just kind of want it in this area about here to the side. Okay, so I have your basic cloud in. Let's go ahead and uh, bring it to life. So right here in the center, I'm going to go ahead and draw some happy eyes. So two curves. I'm going to flick it out a little bit. Add some lash. Come right across about right here and do the same thing. And then a smile right in the center and cap it off. And there, nice and happy, right? And then a little curve above each eye. Okay, so then now comes the part where we have to draw the rainbow. So, um, so it's about right here. I'm going to just go ahead and connect it first. So imagine I want it about this thick. So I'll say about right here and here. I'll just give myself points where I know I want the rainbow to come. And so it's kind of about right here. And I'm just going to draw a curve that comes down to there. So the other side is going to be about here. Nice, same thickness all the way. So say about right here, just approximate. Again, I want to bring it back to here. So let's go nice and high and I'm going to have to turn my body here. <laughs> and try to draw this arc and bring it down to here. There. Okay, so now we have to come in here. And of course, make some adjustments if you need to. A little bit higher. And now to draw the inside. But before I do that, I want to draw some sparkles in the rainbow as well. So um, let's say about here and there, I'll just go ahead and draw some sparkles. But if you have those white out pens, you don't need to do this. You can just um, color this white after you're done coloring, I mean. So say about right here, I'll draw another one. I just wanted to show you. And here, make it nice and magical and sparkly. And one more. Okay, so then now I'm going to have to draw some stripes. And I'm just going to make uh, six stripes just to make it a little bit more even and easier. So let's find our center. So about right here and here. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and draw a center arc. So let's down and right here. Okay, so then now I can go ahead and draw three stripes in here and three in here, just makes it a little bit easier. So I'll just give myself some points. And here. And here we go. And same thing over here. So one, two. And last one. So turn the paper or your body however you need. <laughs> Make it easier. But now that we have the tops and bottom, the curves, it's a little bit easier because we can just follow that. 
Okay, yay, we did it. Okay, so now we're done with the rainbow. And if you like, I thought it would be nice to spruce it up with some raindrops if you want. And so I'm just gonna come to the center and about right here, draw a center raindrop. Come to the sides. And here. And one more. There. And that is pretty much it, except I almost forgot, right? I don't have a heart. So I'll come right here. Put a heart on this pot of gold. And that is pretty much it for this uh, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And I really hope this inspires you to draw it. And then I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.